we're wondering, is there going to be another series of Torchwoods? Is it, has it, is it just on a pause? What's happening with it? There is another series of Torchwood. Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This week marks the end of the six weeks run of the latest Torchwood incarnation, Torchwood Frankie. BBC One have been showing this, and it's been, frankly, challenging to watch. Now, I've been on a few forums and have been trying to figure out exactly what's been going on. I have the distinct feeling that I've missed several episodes, but challenging TV was always the trademark of Torchwood in the past, so I've stuck with it. On the face of things, Frankie is a medical drama, apparently dealing with the modern NHS. Eve Miles, the main protagonist in this, similar to the earlier Torchwoods, has taken on a character called Frankie, who is a district nurse. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the first episode was merely a a scene setter. It, uh, It demonstrated that she was actually either part of some sort of mind problem where her personality had been transplanted and altered slightly so that she enjoyed singing more and was now a highly trained medical professional. There were no mentions of aliens whatsoever. In fact, if you stuck with the entire six-week run, there were no mentions of aliens whatsoever. So, what could it be? Could it be some sort of time issue? Now this, on several of the forums, was what many people thought. The prevailing theory was, given the amount of other people from Doctor Who appearing in this, there must be something else going on. One major theory, which quite caught my imagination, was that this whole story takes place at exactly the same time as the wedding of River Song. All time is happening simultaneously. This would explain why the current Brigadier is a major protagonist in this storyline, and also Shakespeare appears to be in it as her boyfriend. I'm willing to take onto these these possibilities and go with them. Bringing Torchwood back into a parallel with Doctor Who is a very good thing because it had deviated severely through Miracle Day and, in many respects, the children of Smurfs. Now, the events of Miracle Day are largely ignored, but the whole personality change of all of the characters also needs to be gone into. Is it just some sort of timey-wimey thing? We just don't know. And then the key to the whole narrative struck me. One person on one forum suggested that in fact it was Ken Bruce. The popular daytime Radio 2 DJ appears throughout the narrative. Now, for those of you living outside the UK, Ken Bruce is a Scotsman. Not exactly important, but it is important for this narrative because he is indeed an alien, and I'm using the rabbit ears, permeating the culture. Is he an example of the great intelligence controlling what's going on? Or is he merely watching? Is he more of a guardian? She does have a relationship with merely a voice. These things will have to be examined in a second series. Yes, in order to pad things out, there are whole medical dramas, people getting pregnant, that kind of thing. Very soap opera, but then again, under Russell T. Davis, wasn't large aspects of Doctor Who also soap opera? So yes, Torchwood Frankie is a definite departure from the events of Miracle Day and all of the others, but it was something that was actually well acted, well performed, and well thought out. The final performance where you got somewhere with the Brigadier, or as she was in this, a doctor, mm mm-hmm, really revealed a lot and I really thought we were going to get somewhere with a major revelation that in fact she knew what was going along all the time. But no, she'd bought into the whole illusion of medical drama as well. So yeah, Torchwood Frankie, very good, but it just isn't the heights of season one or season two. So with that, I won't fade away. No, there's something else I need to talk about. I need to talk about the 90. You see, We've all fallen for the trick. Just like the Scottish Tourist Board. Bear with me. Please don't stop bearing with me. There are many episodes of Doctor Who which don't exist. 106, I believe, off the top of my head. They're all the black and white Hartnells and Troutons. Not all of them, obviously. Many of those still exist. But a lot of them only exist as reconstructions or audios or something along those lines. We all know that they're out there. They have existed at some point. 
for examples and more information on this, see the books Why. Now, we all know somewhere in the back of our minds what actually happened was the BBC didn't think anyone would want them, so they got rid. They spread them around the world in film form after they'd wiped the videotapes, and then, well, that was the end of things. It wasn't until the 70s and 80s when we all kind of wanted them that the BBC went, do. Collectors have found the odd one turning up and they've had them polished, but... There was a rumour going around. Oh, the internet is built for such things. And like the doctor says, humans, I love them, seeing patterns in things that just aren't there. This is an example of that. A lot of people bought in to a rumour, just like the Loch Ness Monster. A rumour so marvellous that if it was true, would be brilliant. Would just make our day. Apparently, three tonnes worth of canisters of film had been brought from Africa and they may or may not contain the last possible hope for Doctor Who. Several Doctor Who stories were sold to Africa, and they are unknown. Nobody quite knows what happened to them, and we all want that to be true. For example, see the sketch at the end of this particular podcast, but I'm getting ahead of myself. There was a paper trail, a paper trail made up, a paper trail that doesn't really get, and hints and tips and feelings that people wanted this to be true. And you see, I want to believe. There's a reason that poster was on the wall in Mulder's office. He also wanted to believe in something that was quite unlikely. It's very unlikely that Doctor Who will be found. There have been press releases and statements made by companies involved saying, no, really, if we had Doctor Who, we'd tell you and we'd let you buy it. There isn't a great conspiracy The Great Conspiracy is just that of real life. A bit rubbish. Doctor Who tapes were got rid of. They were all sent to a landfill. This is where fandom has missed out. This is what I think should happen. Let's all get together, work out, using the gift of Andrew Pixley, where these particular landfills are. And then, doing cinematic archaeology, we dig. Let's work out roughly where they would be, dig down, find them, and open up the tins from the junked piles. Because if they are in a big landfill somewhere, they're still in a big landfill somewhere. You don't have to visit a war zone, you don't have to deal with dictatorships, you don't have to go through old filing cabinets. What you need to do is dig. Get a metal detector. Yes, you might get the odd disease, but hey, it's worth it for complete celestial toy maker. And with that, I'll fade away. I want to believe that there's episodes out there, but I don't think there are. Just like aliens, I want to believe in them, Given the nature of physics, the laws of the universe, and all that kind of malarkey, it's unlikely we'll ever see them. Shame, really, be seeing you. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its connected properties are copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. Hoostrology, a time traveller's almanac, is available through Telos Publishing or Amazon. Visit www.hoostrology.com for further information. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Right, well, come on in, Mr. Uh, Dog, is it? Yeah, Uh, you got a pitch for a movie, huh? Now, let's have a look what you got here. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure there's already a movie made called Wild Geese. Oh, uh, sorry, it says uh, Wild Geeks here. Okay, well, my mistake. In your own time. Oh, oh, cheers. Um, So you just want me to start? Right. Okay. Picture it. It's modern day. It's Africa. It's the wastelands. A small military outpost on the edge of the jungle. In the distance, the sweeping vistas, sand blows in. A helicopter on the distance, it lands. A figure gets out and walks purposefully towards a tent. The figure is slight, thin glasses, not what you'd expect on a military base. Inside the tent, a group of the sort of villainous scum that you haven't seen since the Empire Strikes Back, except, of course, in human form. The mercenaries are gathered round. The lone figure from the helicopter steps forward onto the rostrum presses a button on a laptop and begins a PowerPoint presentation. Gentlemen, many of you don't know each other. Some of you know each other only by reputation. I've called you here today for a mission, the finest and most noble mission of your entire careers. This, he puts up something on a screen, is our objective. 
a map revealing darkest Africa. We are going to go in. Excuse me, said someone at the back. What do you mean we? You're not coming with us. You're just paying for the whole operation. No, I'm coming with you. This is too important. You guys are the muscle. I'm the brains. I know the target. I know what we're after. Is it? Blood diamonds, suggests someone at the back. No, nothing so prosaic as cash or diamonds or squashed carbon. No, these are canisters. That's what we're after. Let me explain. Our objective is this building, this nondescript office block in the middle of the capital. A former outpost, a television station, a storage facility for all defunct programs. Yes, gentlemen, this is the location of the missing episodes of Doctor Who. We are going to go in, our crack force, and we are going to get through the jungle, across these rivers, into the city, and locate and liberate the most prized possessions of any sci-fi fan. We're going to go in, we're going to go in hard, and we're going to bring out Power of the Daleks. We, gentlemen, will liberate the BBC's lost archive. We will bring back to the masses the prize that we all dream of. Sorry, you, you, you want to say something? Can I just stop you there? The whole premise of your movie is that a multinational media company like the British Broadcasting Corporation would lose track of episodes from its prime money-making program. That's like Universal losing Star Trek. It just wouldn't happen, son. Sorry, man. You got any other ideas? Um, I've got another idea about a time-traveling guy in a blue box. It's not really my idea, but, you know, I've been working on a script... Yeah, probably not what you've been looking for. Um, thanks for seeing me. Well, maybe you could work on something a little more realistic. Thanks for coming in. Uh, who's next? Huh! Oh my god, a film about robots that turn into cars. This is gold! We're wondering, is there going to be another series of Torchwoods? Is it, has it, is it just on a pause? What's happening with it? There is another series of Torchwood. No, there's not. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness, I thought we would Honestly, have an exclusive there. So that is so I'm naughty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know that's very but that naughty, but I get asked. Should, <laughs> should we just ask that question again? So, yeah. will there be another series of Torchwood? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, it's seven in the morning. I'm very, it, I'm very frank. So, so far we've had a yes, no. Is there, is there a don't know answer We as well? have no idea. Okay. Um, we're all keeping our fingers crossed. It's strange because I, I fly off to um, Australia tomorrow to do a signing for for Torchwood. Mm. So it's almost like it's still to do alive. A signing? It's still there. Yeah. You mean, what's that mean? You go to meet all the fans. You do panels. They talk all about the episodes and the series that they love. Yeah, and they take it terribly seriously. They do almost as seriously as as a slot who are involved in it. I mean, they're so loyal and they're so passionate about it. It's incredible. So you will be asked the question probably one thousand times yes. when you. So are you just yes. rehearsing different answers? I am. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs>